Okay, Arlene, you're can you on. Do, can, you, can you do it first so that I can hear it? Um, sure. You do. You, you are. This is, this is why you have high blood pressure, Arlene. You know exactly how to do this, right? <laughs> Everybody, she knows how to do it, but you don't have confidence in yourself. You need more confidence in yourself. Baruch Adonai Ham Baruch. Baruch Adonai Ham Baruch Leolam. Thank you. Baruch Adonai Ham Baruch Oh, you did it already. Sorry. Baruch. I, I was thinking I was the congregation. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Ha'Amim Benatan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. Okay. You're on. Oh, okay. Are you're not going to do the second one ahead of time? The second one. <coughs> I, I no, no, no. We'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. Okay. We'll wait. All right. Baruch Adonai Hamvarah. Baruch Adonai Hamvarah Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hamvarah Leolam Vaed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam. Asher Bahar Banu Miko Hamim Binatalanu et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai No Tain Ha Torah. Fabulous. Okay, now I'm going to do the last part that was fabulous. And remember what I said, and this is really up to you that if you want to bring up your Sidur, you can and not rely on the card that's up there. So whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay. Okay. Just because you know how it looks on the page. So whatever you, what, and, and you, you, it's an extra comfort level, whatever you like. Yeah, because well, I don't know what they have. I don't know what they have up there. That's why they, I- For all I know, they could have a transliteration up there. I mean, I don't know what they have. Right, yeah. so that's why I suggested if you want to bring up your Sidor and if you don't need it, or if you like the way it looks, you could just- I have a, I, I made a copy on a piece of paper. Oh. Just bring the paper up. Great, great. Baruch Ata Adonai. Eloheinu melech olam asher natan lanu torat emet v'chaye olam natap etochenu baruch atanu nai nerten hatara. Amen. Amen. Baruch atanu nai Eloheinu melech olam asher natan lanu torat torat emet v'chaye olam natap etochenu. Baruch Ata Adonai, no tank hatora. You got it. You have got to have confidence. It is perfect. There is no reason for you to be anxious. You are perfect. It's the Torah and it. But you did it. But you yep. did it. The, I'm going up with my husband, and I'm sure we'll have it together. And he only does S's on oh, everything. That's going to be tricky. It is so hard. He does only S's. Yeah. I understand. Yes. Okay. So that was And great. today is the York and today and tomorrow is the York side of my mom too. So Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So she'll be with you. She nice. definitely will. Yeah. She died Good. right be during that Shavuos period of time or so. Yeah, right around there. Nice. Good. Good. Okay. All, All right. right. Thank you so. so thank you, on. everybody. Thank you. I'm gonna probably stay with earpieces, yes. but on uh, non-visual or whatever, because I'll take care of whatever, and I'll yes. try following for a little, right. and then I'll okay. be heading Mazel out. Tov everybody, again. good Shabbos to everybody, uh, and we'll see you in and two man. weeks. Two, uh, and enjoy it. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy it. Oh, uh, I. Thank. Who said that, Judy? Yeah. Um. You know, God, I thank you so much. It's hard to do that when you're. But you have to cut. try. Okay, you, know, you know, if you don't enjoy the good stuff, there's I enough know. bad stuff around. I know you have enough. I know. In particular, have enough bad stuff. Enjoy the good stuff. Thank you, thank you. Good job, everyone. We'll see you in a good couple job. of weeks. Thank, thank you. you. Terrific. Thank you. Terrific. Okay. Yep. All right. So. So back to Gloria. So what? Did, so you obviously did the Torah service last week. What else? We were working on uh, the returning the tour to the ark. Okay. All right. So we'll start with that then. So if everybody was on the Aliyah, we don't have far to go. We that after um, the Aliyot, 
Um, we have the bench and go mail. I don't know if anybody's ever done that before. Um, we do that sometimes, God forbid, if there's a car accident or even if it's major surgery, um, if you've flown across the water, they used to do it. I don't know if they still do. Um, so, but normal, that's not part of the normal weekly service, but it does happen. Um, then we, then some shuls do a Misha Berach um, after each Aliyah. Some people do it at the end for all of the people that have been called up. Um, we also uh, do it when there is a bar or a bat mitzvah or when it's an ufrof. Um, that we do a Misha Berach, a special one for those people. Um, uh, our synagogue does a Misha Berach after I think the fourth Aliyah for all those people that are on the sick list. Right, exactly. That's another one. That's another one we do. I think we do it after the sixth though, but whatever. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Yes. We and and um, yeah, and some people and Debbie Friedman's Misha Yes, we don't do that. We one. do Debbie okay. Friedman's and sometimes we do El Narvan Allah. Yeah. Right. Um, so you do it after the sixth one? I think they do it after the does it matter? Which it's one? A, normally between. it's the sixth, I believe, between the sixth and the seventh. I'll have to pay attention tomorrow morning. Okay. You'll like you'll get back to us, Judy. <laughs> I think it's between this usually it's between the sixth and the seventh. Yes. Really? Sometimes oh. they'll read a lot of names. Um I was at a show where everybody would come up to the Torah, actually. That oh my god, they would take name. forever. There's a lot yes. of people. And we, yeah. I was when we were in Manhattan, we, we um, they didn't come up, but they would go around the room and there were literally people that had like 20 names that they right, were. Right, and they would, the people would raise every, their hand and give names. But you know what day. I find more, I find this kind of annoying. This is my own business, but. Well, what we, they do now here is they have a, a sh sh short list um, mm -hmm. that they have for the synagogue and then they give time for everybody who wants to say it to themselves or say it out loud to themselves, whatever, uh, rather than going all around the room. Yes, because it can take a very long time. It does, and, and they keep people, <laughs> they have names on the list that have been on there for three, four years. And and my thinking is if someone has just had surgery or, or you know, something, mm -hmm. that's the time that you really want to say a mishaber. But to keep a person on the list for so many years, well, also, it's sometimes you it's forget. It's crazy. Sometimes so we have 30, 35, 40 names on the list, plus all the people that raised their hands. Yes. And also, you never know, God forbid, a million times somebody, once I heard somebody was dead already. They oh, my away. God. Well, oh because, you know, if you have the list and you don't cl clean it up and somebody, you know, it does happen, God, you know, unfortunately. And then some people also want to put them a name on the list when they have a cold, you know, whatever. It's um, crazy. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. I do have to say, as far as keeping somebody for a while, is I have a very close friend who had leukemia and was going through it and through her time. For a long time, she kept her name on because she still didn't feel confident that she was really healthy. So you never know. You have to give people the, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt, but also what they do here is I think after either a month or after whatever it is, unless they hear from you, they take it off actually. Because sometimes people just forget that it's there even. They're not even in shul some of those No, people. these people want it on the list and there's it's yeah. like what people can that I just aren't well and you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard, hard. It's hard for all of us. Anyway, so we do that. Um, but the other is just not somebody that's ill. It's just when you get an honor, they want to give you the mishabel. Okay. Anyway, then we have the Kaddish, um, and then we raise the Torah. I want to tell you, they're just as just because there are many places. Uh, there are many differences in, in observance um, in different places. We, when we were in Philadelphia, they actually raise the Torah before they read it. But when they bring when they open it, they raise it. It's the only place I've ever seen them do that, but it can happen. It shows you that there are many different customs all over. Um, but then, um, okay, so we do the Kaddish and everybody stands for the Kaddish. And then we say, the Zot HaTorah Asher Sam Moshe Lifnei. What page are you on? Oh, sorry. Please. I was going through my pages and hoping that you were too. After in the um, Slim Shalom, it's one forty-six. If you go through, get 
go through the Mishaberach, okay, all of that stuff. Um, the Chatsi Kaddish, and then you'll see right. just this one line before the before the um brachot for the Haftorah and Lev Shalem, it's 174. Oh, I'm right. I got it. I'm right here now. Okay, this is just the mm -hmm. one line because after you're finished reading the Torah, you put it, you close it and put it, we don't put it back in the ark yet, but we close it. We, we never have the Torah open when we're not reading it. We have it covered, actually, if we're not reading the Torah. Some places, I, I don't know when I heard this recently, some places actually put the cover on when they're at, calling the person up. Most places don't do that. When they're actually, when they're calling up, they still have it uncovered. Um, closed but uncovered but like when we do the Mishaberach or when we do Kaddish or when we do the rabbi had makes comments we cover the Torah um, and you'll notice that they'll always have it covered because you don't want to have it's a, you don't have it out when you're not using it um, it's respect for the Torah so um, after we're finished reading it we do the Kaddish and then we do, we say that one line um, but we don't put it away yet. Um, Judy, would you like to read the line? Just because we all sing it, and it's good for us to know it and be comfortable with it. The Zot. Uh, which Judy? Oh, yeah, there's, oh my God, there's three Judys here. Three, three out of four. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Judy Frank. That is four so Judys funny. out of five people, huh? <laughs> Of the people I can see, because I can't see Arlene, there's three out of four people are Judy's. Um, Judy Frank. Bezot HaTorah Asher Sam Moshe Lefanei B'nei Yisrael El Al Al I'm Al P Adonai B'yad Moshe Now I bet that And they sing it. Okay. Yes, yes, and that's that's what that's what. Okay, you want to sing it? I can't. Let, okay, I'll sing Judy Carlin, you. you sing. Okay. Okay. I know except Judy Carlin can sing. Except I was doing it from memory because I'm. Oh, uh, that's we not no memory know what it is. here. This is all. I know what it is. It doesn't matter. Okay. This is um, oh, oh, I got it. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, and I bet you know what this means. All of it. We know what this means. Some of it. Okay, mm -hmm. tell me what, what word you know. Which part do you know? Um, Marlon. To, uh, Torah Moshe. Uh, that's yeah. all of it. I told you, you know it. We use the yad, the yad. All yad that when we when we wash our hands before mozi yadayim. Okay, but we, right, uh, but the yad. But the yad is like holding the yad. Yeah, but yes, but it's by the finger of Moshe. And we use the thing, and we call the thing that we use okay. in the Torah also. And if you've seen it, usually there's what it's like, a, usually most of them look like a hand at the end, and right. it has one finger pointing. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. So, okay. Zot HaTorah is this is the Torah, the Torah. Because it's Torah's feminine. Zota Torah Asher Sam Moshe that that Moses uh, said whatever before if nay is before B'nai Yisrael the children the people of Israel Al Pi Adonai He is the mouth from the mouth of God <laughs> but the Yad and the Yad the finger of Moshe. Okay, so you really that you know. When you sing it, you know what, so you know, yeah, think of, yeah. it's good to think about what you're saying also, not just, you know, right. it's good to be able to read. That's what we're here about, but it's also good to think about a little bit about what you're saying. And you don't have to translate. If you're good, you don't have to actually translate it into English. 
you can still actually even read in the Hebrew, you know what it is you're talking about. What is the word? What's the mouth word? Finger I got. P. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Okay, yes. thanks. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Given by God. Okay. Good. Okay. So and I know, Gloria, you can do that. So now we do the... We're not going to do the bracha for the haftar, right? I don't think. I don't think that's necessary. But are there other tunes, Judy, to that? I've lost it. Come on, help me, Gloria. It's hard and then to they go and then they, the they go they sing Torah, 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 exactly. Right. And why do we, so right. why do we do that, Judy Carlin? Why do we sing Torah, Torah? What we're glorifying the Torah. But it's why so do we do that? Not why do we do that particular thing, but why are we singing? Takes time to dress the Torah. Thank you. Oh and my God. Really? Oh. <laughs> thank you thank you gloria that's what they're thank doing while we, while after we I just go and, they and, and we're and, happy and, to have the torah we, and they don't want people just to stand there talking sit, so they or sit there talking depending on whether you stand or sit at that point <laughs> um uh, so they that's why we sing that oh thank <laughs> you then they, uh, if, if, if it doesn't get done in time don't they go to mayim yeah, whatever. <laughs> they keep going. The whole point is to do something while the while you're do, dressing the Torah. Mm -hmm. And the same thing happens, by the way, also when you're walking around with the Torah. Right? I don't know how many places are walking now or how big your place mm -hmm. is that they're walking, but there's there is a prayer that you're singing oh, both going and coming, <laughs> but sometimes it takes longer than that to get to where you're going. So they'll add some other prayer in or something. It's the prayer that yeah. Roma, Roma Mu or something like that, that prayer. Whatever. Roma, yes. Roma, yes. Roma, yes. Roma. <laughs> In our synagogue, they're beginning to let the children who were there dress the Torah with adult help. Interesting. Which is really nice because the children are so nice. excited. And, uh, anytime the children are involved, it's exciting. And if they're That's excited, nice. the parents are excited. And if exactly. they're excited, not only the parents are excited, but the other yeah. people are excited also and they'll the, come. Only trick, the only tricky thing is yeah. hard to do that because how do they reach no, they, <laughs> they have an adult who does that because i had somebody i was a glila actually last week i think it was or whatever fairly recently and somebody who is tall was holding sitting but holding up the torah <laughs> i couldn't reach the top to put the thing so what do they i have a question so what do they do as far as dressing the torah all it is is putting the uh well they're sort of there more i would assume gloria right well, well they're there they each get to hold a piece because they put oh, the on they, they, they the pass the pieces on. over basically but they, the they can't put the cover on or the no uh, because they no. can't reach first no, of all but they can hold it Yes, that's a great the idea. The holding is very nice. I hold it at the bottom that's and then a nice idea. Yeah. And then well, the, often we have a lot of usually we have one Torah. Sometimes they have two Torahs. Sometimes they have three Torahs. Very not often. But off but we were someplace where there was really only one Torah place to put the Torah where we were. So we would have a kid not a kid seven years old, a kid 13, 14, 15 years old, usually sit and hold the other Torah. So whenever you can get other people involved. So and how old, I'm just curious, how old are the children that do this? Uh, the ones that actually hold the little pieces and all, anywhere, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right, it's yeah. really nice. And, and also they also this... have a bunch of stuffed Torahs. And the children yes. march around. When the Torah marches, right? Yes. Oh, yes. wow. Yes. We have that great. too. Yeah. yeah. And it's all great. the adults kiss their Torahs too. They feel very important. <laughs> so they have a little, yeah, they have a little Torah. Little, oh. you know, that's a secret, the secret of trying to get, you know, first of all, you want kids to be involved in it. And you yeah. always feel more connected if you're involved. And as you said, Gloria, it also gets the parents, obviously. Uh, if you get the kids, they don't drive themselves. You get the parents. So it's a 
it's a gimmick and I find there's nothing wrong with the gimmicks as long as they're positive and don't hurt anybody or and exactly the, the, the mean something and you know somebody has to pass the pieces why shouldn't it be a kid you know hold and give the piece why shouldn't it be a kid that's very nice yeah yeah lovely 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 and we can also pick up on some of these things in our stools if we have any say or make yeah. the suggestion to people yeah. that um Okay, so um, unless somebody wants to do the Haftarah Brachot, I think we're not going to do them now. Um, unless, do I have any response that somebody wants to do them? No. no that's okay, a... so we're going to skip um, it. Uh, because uh, the we... person that reads the Haftarah does it, so. Yes, um, I will okay. say that there was one time um, where actually everybody did that. I think the person was having a little trouble, so everybody sort of joined so, in. Can we go on to the ashtray? That's my... Uh... We can go on to the ashray. Okay. And the state, prayer for the state of Israel. Okay, but if we're going to do the prayer for the state of Israel, we do that before our ashray because... Right, right, right. Well, no, I understand. It's in our book before. That's what I was just going through the pages to see where we were. Um, Judy, when we continue our more, you know, the uh, uh, classes next, like in the fall together yes. or whenever there... Yes. Let's, we, can we, we'll do the... We'll do that half tour thing. Just I think that that would probably be a good suggestion, and you might even want to send it to Julia at some point as part of the also as being part of the bat mitzvah class. Um, that you know, while they didn't want to do the Hebrew um, at higher levels necessarily at this point, oh. I think it not, is not appropriate, not inappropriate because we've offered these classes long enough that we have people that want to continue that we might move, there might be one or two classes on the lower levels of Hebrew, but they might want to do Taka, Haf Torah, and even possibly Torah reading with trope. So yeah, I think that's a good suggestion, Arlene. Okay, great, thank you, okay. But it would be good if it came from you because the, the students are the ones that have really been driving these classes, which is great. Okay, okay, that's great, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, so um, we did the bracha. We did the bracha, bracha before the Torah. We did the, I mean, half Torah. We did the half Torah. Then we did the bracha after the half Torah. Then we do yakum pur khan, which is the prayer for the congregation. Um, some people then do the prayer for those who serve the community. I don't know. We don't do that, but we do almost every other prayer. Then um, the prayer for our country is always, at least in America, done in English, um, even though we have the Hebrew there. Then we get to, after the prayer for our country, we get to the prayer for the state of Israel. Okay, I am going to read it first, um, and then we'll have everybody else read. This is a good thing because it's not so easy. And it's something that um, most of our shuls do, and many of it, us do it in Hebrew. Avinu Sheba Shamayim, Sur Yisrael Vagoalo, Barech et Medinat Yisrael, Reshit Tzmichat Gulatenu, Hagen Allaha, Vavrat Chastecha, Ufros Aleha, Sukat Shlamecha, Ushlach Orcha, Vayamidcha, Vrasheha, so excuse me, Sarecha, Vioatseha, the tuck name, the etza toval mifot mil fanecha, Kazek et yede migine eret kochenu, Vahan hilem elohene yushua, Va teret netatron, Tatrem, Vanatata shalom baaretz, the simchato lam leoshveha, Venomar amen. Okay. Um, a lot of times, this is a prayer that um, people join in with, which does make it a little easier. Um, and I suggest if you're reading it in Hebrew, particularly if the congregation joins in, that you do read it slowly. This is something that's not usually sung. I know somebody had sung it. Um, it can be sung. And sometimes you just do the beginning part sung, but we're just gonna do the reading because this is not a singing, I'm not a singing person. Okay. Do I have anybody that wants to read it? I can try. Judy I still Frank have is such a struggle with this. <laughs> okay, that, that's what we're here for. If, we, if it was really easy for all of us, we don't need to be here. Right, but it's a struggle, but we'll do it. 
Avinu Shabashamayim, Sur Yisrael, Vagoalo, Bareich et Mad Madinat, Yisrael, Reshit, Reshit, Zamatrat. No, just look at the dots, just look at the vowels under the mem. Samicha. Good, perfect. Samicha. Yeah. Go out, go out. Latenu. Again. Ale, Aleha. Good. Baa, 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 Vrach, Rach, Chaster. No, yeah, Baa, Vrat. Say Baa, Vrat. Baa, Vrat, Chastecha. Perfect. Um, oof, oof, Rosh, Al, Al, what, 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 what's that word again? Oof. Look where the dot oof, is. Bro, oof, bro, show. Oof, bro, so. The dot is on the left for the sama. Okay. Oof, bro, so. Is yeah. that right? In the sin. Oof, bro, so, yes. Oof, bro, so. Ala, ala, ha. Zabat. No, look again. Ha. So, but no, stop, stop. After Allah, just look and see. Sachat, Sukat, 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 Shalom, Shalomecha, yep, Ushlah, Orach, Baam, Baam, Mitah. No, look at where the dot, the vowel comes after. Remember? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was I, my eye moved. Okay. Sarahha. Name. Baaza. Tofa. Tofa. Mal Malfa Malfa Necha Had Has Et Yad Yade Magi Magine Eretz Had Kadashenu Baham Bahana Kilaim Ah Elo Hainu Yeshua Ba Vaat Teret Good Nisa Chon Ta Raim Venach Venata Teta. No, read again. Wait, wait, wait. Vena Te Ta Ta. All odds. Vena Ta Ta. Ta. Oh, you know what? It looks like two dots in my book. Yeah. But it's Ta. Okay. Tata, Shalom, Ba'a, Ba'eretz, Vasit. You were right the first time. What? Ba'a, right Ba'eretz. Good. Vasimchat, <laughs> Olam, Velosh, Losh, Veha, Venomar, Amen. Good. Ba'eretz, we put the B and the Ha together and get Ba. Yeah. Sometimes tries to con condense things. We that's why we have the pro the prefixes and the suffixes on each on words. Oftentimes, it, instead of giving another word, they'll condense it into the prefix so that the ba is ba and ha together. Okay. Um. And what is I going to say? Um. Okay. Midinat Yisrael. That's the excuse me, the um, people of Israel. Oh, yeah. Okay, Medinat, why is it that Medinat, the same as Smichat and Reshit? It's because it's modified. Like if you have a red dress, you have the <clears throat> country of Israel. So the it's really not people, Medinat is really country. Um, so uh, of Israel, so instead of the ah, uh, you have the the ending of the the ta. Okay. 
<laughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's see. Judy Carlin, would you like to read? Okay. Um, I also have trouble with this. Um, okay. Avino, Shabashamayim. Excuse me, somebody. Avino, Shabashamayim, Sur Yisrael, the Goa Lo. Bare et Midane Yisrael. Et Midana. Not. Not Yisrael. Reshit, Zemichat, Gau. Gau Latenu. Good. Hagain, Alecha, the Everat. The Everat, the Everat, Hastecha. Good. Um, Ufer, oh boy. Uferosh, Alecha, Sukat, Shou, Mecha, Ushla, Orhava, Ami, Taha, Lara, Shecha, She, Recha. Ah, on the left, it's this, it's a S sound. Sarecha, Sarecha, the Yatseha, the Takanam, the Eksa Toba, Mila Fenecha, Azek et Yede, Migine Eretz, Kadishenu, Bahana Hilin, Bahana Hilin, Elohenu, Yeshua, the Ateret. Nits a home to add to add ten. No, no, to add rain. The nut, the nut, the nut, the nut, shalom, the eretz, the shimachat, alam, the shell. You have to pay attention to where the dots are. The simchat, the simchat, alam, lo yosha, lo yosha vecha. Good. And Omar, amen. Good. Great. I just, you just have to just, pay attention, left and right. Okay. The now, Gloria, show us how it's done. Okay. Abinu Shabashamayim, Sur Yisrael, Begoalo. Marev et Medinat Yisrael. Reshit Simichat Geulatenu. Hagen Aleha. Rat Astecha Ufros Aleha Sukat Shlomecha Ushlach Oracha Baa Mitacha Le Rasheha Sareha Bio Atseha Betak Name Bae Sa Tova Milfanecha Kazek et Yede Nagine Eretz Kochenu Bahan Hilain Elohenu Yeshua Baateret Nitzachon Te Atrain Benatata Shalom Baaretz Besimchat Olam Liyosh Beha Benomar Amen. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. You have my recommendation. You're, you are terrific. Thank you. Thank you. All it, of you. A hard one. Yes, it is hard. It's, and it's we hard. have to also be willing to lay ourselves out there when it's not perfect. And I, we're not reading it perfectly. Um, and everybody is great. And this is not an easy prayer to read. Um, okay. Then we do the prayer for peace. That's usually in English. Um, then if you do a personal meditation, Announcing the new month. We're not going to do that right now because we want to get to Ashray. So we should do do you have Ashray? Is everybody on Ashray? It's 151 okay. in the blue. What? I know the prayer for my husband walked just walked in and gave his peace. And I and it's something we should know anyway, even though we're not going to do it is the prayer for the new month is going to be read this Shabbos. 
because oh. we have a new month coming up again for change. Seems like it's, you know, one month. Every time you turn around, it's a new month. Exactly. Exactly. And 181 in left Chilean. It's very weird that time is going by too quickly for me. Um, so anyway, so if everybody's on Ashray, okay, we're going to try something different. We're going to, I don't know, you just have to remember who, who you're after. We're going to read line, I'm going to, well, no, never mind. Um, I'm going to read just a few lines and then we'll go, go over them. Ashrei Yoshvei Vetecha Od Yahalulu Chasela. Ashrei Am Jakachalo, Ashrei Am Shadonai Elohav. Tehila Le David, Aromimcha Elohai, Hamelach Bavarcha, Chimcha Le Olam Vaed, Bavarchecha, sorry. No, Bavarcha. Bechol Yom Avarchecha. See, I got the wrong word. I knew it had the sound, but I didn't look at it. We're going to learn both lines, even though we're in the congregation, we only do the, uh, every other line because. I'm hoping that you guys are good enough that if you ever have an opportunity to do to lead Ashray, you will be able to do that. So we're going to do both lines. <laughs> um, yes. So I'm um, Gloria, you're first this time. So just you could do through door, through the Dalad. This is a remember, this is an acrostic. So it's all of that gimel Dalad. Okay. okay. You're up. Okay. Ashrei Yoshve Vetecha od Yahalu Hasela. Ashrei Ha'am Shekahalo Ashrei Ha'am Shadonai Eloha. Tihila Ludavid. Aromimacha Elohai Hamela. Ba'avraha Shimcha Leolam Vaed. Behol Yom Avar Hecha. Bahalala Shimcha Leolam Vaed. Gadol Adonai um hulal ma'od belig du la to en heker, dor la dor yeshaba ma'asecha u gavuro techa yagidu. Perfect. Gorgeous. Okay. Judy Carlin, you're up Wait, next. Before, before Judy yes. goes. Yes, um, Arlene. Yeah, I'm still, I'm listening, but. Um, yes. I'm going to be going in a minute. Um, okay. The ha huh sound in. Hey, care. Is that I am? I've gotten confused on my hoods. You know, you know that. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. On the next to the last line. Is that hey, care? Hey, care? Yes. You okay. are not confused. You're only confused in your own mind. You know exactly. You just have to have the confidence. You know what it is. Yeah. Hey, also, care. I'd like I'd like to gain Gloria. It sounded marvelous. The fluency. I'd like to. You know, I guess it comes through lots and lots and lots of practice to get that fluency. If you oh. can't see Gloria, she's shaking her head. Oh, I can't years see her. I, okay, Gloria, let me see. Let me see. I, I, I'm now there. Yeah. It's a lot, a lot of, I, it reminded me when you, you know, when you prepared the class, she said trillions and trillions, I think was the term she used. <laughs> and, and it's, and it really stuck in my head that it was, was, that that's what it takes, the trillions right. and trillions. Because you have to understand that you actually do know, even though you don't have the confidence, you know the letters and the vowels. You know it's fake air. You're not, you're not sure about it because you don't have the confidence, but you know. But the only thing that makes it faster and more fluent is reading it and practicing it. All right. Thank no, you. There, Thank you. There's no, unfortunately, there's no secret sauce, you know? <laughs> like, hey, like all these medications that say they take away the wrinkles, you know, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, it'll take away all your wrinkles. Unfortunately, there is none of those. And there is no secret that we can do to make people fluent. And also listening and hearing also. So if you go to shul, if you listen to it on whatever, um, that helps. But actually reading it yourself is the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Our Bye -bye. pleasure. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Yes, Judy Carlin, now we're back to you again. 
You thought you were going to get out of it, didn't you? You thought I was going to get out of it. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Yeah, this is a hard one, too. Yes. Ashre Yoshe Betecha O Yahalu Halula. Boy, Yahalula. No. Yahalaluha Sela. Good. Ashre Ha'ain Shaka. Shakaha Lo. Ashrei ha'ain sha'adonai. Uh, look at that. Look at that. I want you to, you know this too well. If you, if this were Ray. six months ago, I'd let you get away with it, maybe. Ha'am. You have to look, if you look at the vowels. They look exactly the same. The two, right? They should look the same. Okay, good. Ha'am. Ashrei ha'am sha'adonai elohav. Elohav. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, yeah, good. Perfect. Thank yeah, you. From what you Arlene know. said. Um, hey, care. Door to door. Yashaba maas. Zecha. Ugabu rotecha yagidu. Perfect. That was great, Judy. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Relax. Thank you. It was great. <laughs> It was great. Okay, Judy Frank. The struggle. That's a but you know, but but it was good. It was, you read it correctly. And and, fair, and pretty fluently too. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Judy Frank. Ashre Yoshve Beseka O Jahaluka Sela. Ashre Ha'am Shekaka Lo Ashre Ha'am. Shahu, no, Shahu, 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 Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Hey. <laughs> You're just having too hard of a time to try to stand it up. Tehila le David. Aromemcha, Aromemcha, Elo, Elohai. Hamelech Vahavra Vahavra Shimcha Leolam Ba'ed Bakal Yom Avar Avracha Avarcha Avrachecha Vahal Vahalal Shimcha Leolam Ba'ed Gadol Adonai Umla Umla Hala. Now look again. Um ha who? The three dots, remember? Yeah. Um hal halal. No, sound it out. Um I don't know what those three dots. The three dots underneath is are again the ooh sound. Okay, the ooh can be in the bob in the middle. Or the three dots on an angle on the underneath. So it's Judy, um. what's uh, what is um? Um. U is and or but. Oh, oh, um. Yeah. Yes, and from or. Whatever. Okay. Okay. It has to do with halal. You good? You're right. Both of them are, are prefixes. Good. Um halal. Um halal. Mo ma od. Good. The league. Belig lato. No, again, the, you're you're getting caught on those three dots underneath. You can't ignore them. Belig do. Belig do la lato. Good. Hey he hair. Good. Door la door. Yes. 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 No. Masecha. Sound it out. No, before masecha. Oh. Door, door, la door. Yisha, Yisha Bach. No. Perfect. That's it. Ma'an, ma'asecha. Good. 
Ugabu Rotecha. Yes. Yigi do. Exactly. Yagi do. Remember that that little line underneath that takes and moves the, the accent from the last syllable to the next to the last. So it's Yagi do, not Yagi do, which it would be otherwise. Okay. Hadir Kabod Hodeka Badiv Badivre Nif Niflos Techa Ish Isha. Asika, you keep going. I can tell uh, that you are not that you're using Lev Shalane because I'm looking now at the Sim Shalom and it ended on the door, but yours doesn't end because you're doing Lev Shalane. So uh, we stopped uh, at the Dalad. We didn't move to the Hay yet. Okay, so we're gonna. We're, I, I know that we only have a few minutes left, um, but I'm not gonna go to something else. So we're gonna read a couple more lines. Okay. Um, but that's good. And next week, we're going to read it one more time. And what I'd like to do next, not next week, next week is Shavuot. Um, but next time we do Ashrei is to have somebody be the leader and we'll be the followers so that you can get comfortable doing both parts. Of, but no, knowing the fact that you're not going to read it line by line. Okay, so we finished with the bottom page, last one was Dalid. So now we're going to go to Hay. For extra credit, which letter is left out? But this is an alphabetical acrostic, but there's um, one letter next left out. I think it's none. Perfect. Is it none? Yes, none. And uh, we're not hmm. sure why. And evidently, somebody. I think somebody said they found some copy that had it, but it's never made it back in. Okay. Um, okay. Hadar, Kavod, Hodecha, the Divre, Niflotecha, Asicha. Ve'ezuz norotecha yomeru udulatecha asaprena. Zecher rab tuvcha yabiu betzit katecha yiranenu. Chanun v'rachum Adonai erech apayim udolchos chased. Tov Adonai lakol v'rachamav al kol ma'asav yaducha Adonai kol ma'asecha. Okay, that's a lot. Okay, anybody want to join in with the hey, Hadar, Kavod? Okay. You want to do it? Okay, I Gloria's there, I can tell. She wants to do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And everybody else is going to pay attention so that next, so you can do it. Thank you, because I know you can. Gloria. Adar kavod hodecha v'divre niflotecha asicha ve'ezuz norotecha yomeru u'gdu latecha asaprena zecher rav tuvcha yabiu v'tzid katecha yiranenu chanun v'rachu madonai erech apayim u'gdol chased chased yeah Ov Adonai Lakol Barahamav Al Kol Maasav Yoducha Adonai Kol Maasecha Bacha Sidecha Yivarakucha. Gorgeous. Easier when you sing it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Much easier. Yes. Well, ne hopefully next time we're going to get to the singing it. I would like us to. This is one of the prayers that. There are a number of ones that we're pretty comfortable with at this point. This is one of the difficult ones that we can become comfortable with. So we're going to work on this a little bit more next time. But um, yes, but we'll be, and we're going to get to the singing too. And if anybody would prefer singing, as long as you're looking at the words, you're, I, you're allowed to sing. But you have to look at the words so we don't get in trouble like the sore. Okay, so we're going to start with Hadar. Do I have Judy Frank or Judy Carlin? Who's going to, uh, Judy Frank is unmuted, so I'm going to give it to you, Judy. <laughs> Thanks. Hadar Kavod Hodeka Badivre Niflo Teka Asika. Perfect. Ve Zeus Nora Osteka Yomeru Ugal. Ugadol, Ugadula, Teka, 
Perfect. Asa, Thank you. Asa Perena. Yep. Asa Perena. Zeher Rav Tovecha Ibi Ibiu Vesid Chatecha Vyirainu Nenu. Um, I don't know. Erech Hapayim Uga Payim Hapayim Uda Udal Chaset Chaset. Yes, Hov Adonai Lachol Barachamov Al Chol. Ma the see sav. There's a lot sav. Yodecha Adonai call Mea Secha Vachasi Decha Yivarachuka. Good, good, great. Okay. It is after one eleven oh two. Judy Carlin, you're first up next time. I'm gonna write it down in my all my notes that you are up first. Okay. So anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you, Arlene. Mazel tov to Arlene. We should enjoy, 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 and um, I hope everything goes well. So, and I can't wait to hear about it. I have a quick question. Sure. So, how long are you going to be continuing to I think summer? my get my feeling at this moment is two more weeks when we come back. Okay. Okay. So two. my so I'm back water aerobics, yeah, my water aerobics class is outdoors. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I had I no, understand. so I'm saying it's outdoors. So if yeah. um, oh, so if the weather's bad, you can come to us. <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping it won't be, but I hope it won't be too for your sake. Because I think we all need that. I mean, yes. I love the well, weather. we've had a gorgeous week this week, so I we can't complain. The yeah, weather is really beautiful. Today. But um, no, yeah. here it's nice and sunny, but tomorrow it's supposed to rain. So anyway, so yes, to, that's my thought. I will send something out, um, and then hopefully something will happen in the fall. But um, I. Hope and and everybody's going to be a convention, or uh, we hope to be. I'm going to be a convention. Unfortunately, Arlene is not going to be there. Um, I hope but, to see you guys. It's really I will be there. I mean, good, Judy, I'm, for I will and look I. for you. I think we need a special badge. We have to ask people. Mm -hmm. You know, they have tags for different pieces oh, of the organization, and I think we should have a tag for those people that are in the Hebrew classes. I'm going to have right. to. I'm going well, to have make to us, that. Um, you I'm know, going to tell Edna. You what can you make think? us a badge, Judy's class. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just Dorothy, you, Judy, Carolyn, are you going or no? Yes. Oh, yeah, good. Go okay. Yes. Yay! A good okay. Only, only on Monday. Okay. Well, we'll be there. Oh, on Monday, and, so that would be um, wonderful. So, yes. And, and do you know, Judy, do you happen to know what time we're starting services that morning? I have I think it I don't know me. if it's on the schedule or my not. Sister I who's asking me. Yeah, I haven't paid uh, attention. I think it's I it was on the schedule. It's pretty early. That's is what it? I thought. It's on the schedule, I think. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay. I don't have a link. If you go uh, on right, the I'll website, have... you can get to the you can get I'll to the convention the schedule. information. Yeah, yeah. Good. So great. I'm so excited. Um Arlene, <laughs> I'm so sorry if you're still here that you're not going to be there. But anyway, um and Arlene is too. Uh, wishing everybody a Shabbat Shalom, a Chag Sameah. A Chag Sameah. Um, and I will send something Chag out about, about reminding people about not coming next week for anybody that's not here today and um, how how we're going to go to, to the end. And um, if you get a chance, practice Ashray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Shabbat Shalom, a Chag Sameah. Chag Shalom. Chag Shalom, Chag Samaya, thank you, Judy. Have a good weekend. Have a good...